Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a huge video today on the channel because we have information related to the Serie A Team of the Season cards that are going to be coming out this Friday on FIBA 22. We have some leaks and it's already starting to affect the market, specifically with this guy right here, Paulo Dybala. Lots of cards leaked, lots of stats to look at. So we're going to take a look at those in this video today and talk about Serie A Tots but also talk about the massive SBC everybody's expecting and looking forward to today on Wednesday, and that is the guaranteed League One Tots SBC. I think it's going to be a bit expensive, and everybody's still going to go and do it because they have a chance to pack Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi, right? So I want to take a look at that SBC, how it could impact the market and the fodder market as well, since there's going to be a lot of demand on fodder once again today. So I want to take a look at all of that. And of course, actually talk about a leak that EA put in the game themselves. Kind of a weird one from yesterday. We'll cover that all and more in today's video. If you're enjoying the uploads, make sure to thumbs up on the channel and subscribe if you're new. Let's start, start off with the leaks, right? Let's start off with the Syria team of the season players that we have leaked. I know some of you guys have seen a few of these already. We've even looked at like Rafael Leal already on the videos earlier this week but we have 12 cards leaked right now out of the whole entire 15 so we're going to scroll through all of them of course we have the rafael leao card looks pretty juiced what a huge upgrade for this card and i'm curious to see if how much they upgrade like a skill move weak foot type thing on rafael and i want to talk about that a little bit too as we look through a few of these leaks for cards that are going to be released in syria tots I think it's really going to come down to the skill move and weak foot upgrades for EA to go a little bit over the top. Because again, like we've been mentioning this past week, we have these cards that we've already looked at. So you guys may be looking at these for the first time or the second time or like, all right, I've seen these. I just want to talk over them a little bit. Um, but yeah, these cards look cool and they look pretty juiced. But we've been having cards like this, not exactly like this, but we've been having great TOTS cards released now for like the past four weeks. And we're getting used to these insane stats. But I think Syria is the one that has the least amount of hype so far, just based off of the league hype in FIFA. I think EA knows that though. And they're going to try to do a little bit extra this week to try to get some hype and try to get people to spend FIFA points and open packs on this game. And I could really see them doing that with some extra skill move and weak foot upgrades, just kind of like over the top stuff, right? Like maybe giving a guy like Vlahovic five-star skills or something crazy like that, even if it's not deserved. I feel like they might do a little bit of that this week just to keep people interested in wanting to try these brand new Serie A cards. Vlahovic's card looks very nice. Going to be a bit of a truck, but going to be an absolutely insane finisher uh, in the game when he gets dropped. Here's a couple of the bigger ones. These are the newer leaks. Tonali. Everybody loved the fantasy foot Tonali card, the SBC that got upgrades. This card, again, if you compare it to all the insane midfielders that have been released recently, he's going to be so, so good. 94 pace on a CDM with his body type and build. This is going to be an incredible card. In my opinion, one of like the top three or four Todd's cards getting released on this Friday. That one's going to be a bit expensive compared to the rest of the team. And he's got the Milan links and it's going to be something you'll notice. There's a lot of AC Milan cards in this team. I think that those links are going to be key this week and because they've got some of the most hyped TOTS cards. Now, moving on a little bit more, we've got our goalkeeper. Two back-to-back -back weeks with the French goalkeepers. Mike Magnan uh, looks like a pretty good card. 59 speed is a bit low. I always thought that Mike Nan's special cards, like he had the winter wild cards, I thought that card was terrible. A lot of people loved it. I think LaFont and Yoris are probably going to end up being better than this guy, but he's going to be one of the cheap cards and, of course, a nice Milan link if you need it with those French links. Here's another big one, Cuadrado, 99 pace and, of course, five-star skills. Great if you're running a three-back or a five-back team. One of those guys down the wings that's got the pace, that's got some of the defensive stats, just an all-around, very well-rounded player. 97 dribbling, again, the five-star skills for Cuadrado. That's going to be a card that a lot of people are going to want to try to get. And also, right now, it's interesting. You don't see many trolls for a Colombian right-back, but there's another Colombian right-back in packs right now. Munoz. So when you're opening packs on Friday, you might see Colombian right back and think you're getting Quadrado, um, but it actually could be Munoz. So that's kind of interesting that we have a troll for Quadrado. It's going to be in packs this weekend. So there's that. Moving up the list even more, Milinkovic Savage. What is a team of the season, Serie A, without a cracked out midfield Milinkovic Savage? Um, you know, he's going to be cheap. It's going to be a good card, but he's going to be really cheap. Again, EA will have to do something special with a card like this to make a lot of people want to go out and do it. Now, here's the, one of the biggest surprises in here as we get through some more of these cards. 
Paulo Dybala getting a team of the season card. And I think just kind of like Messi, people were not thinking that he was deserving of a team of the season card. But again, team of the season has become less of who deserves it. And it's more become how can we sell some packs and get people hyped about cards in this game. Now, because of this Dybala leak, remember, we've been talking about that foot birthday Dybala. And we've been talking about his price and maybe for an out-of-packs investment. Well, this Paulo Dybala was 530,000 coins yesterday. His price on the market plummeted after people saw that leak. Now, it's not a very big upgrade over this foot birthday Dybala. It's like plus three, plus two overall, and then plus three, plus two in a lot of the different stats on the card. Now, the thing that I believe that Tati Dybala will not have is the five-star weak foot. His base card is three-star weak foot, of course, and that's what makes this, this foot birthday card really good, is that five-star weak foot. Dybala has like never had one of those before, and that's always the problem, right? Dybala with the weak foot, always the problem. So I think that this foot birthday version will still maintain some value. He, he went down to 430K. He's now back up about 30,000 uh, 30, coins. I did pick up a couple of those. It's kind of like a foot birthday Suarez type situation from earlier on during community team of the season. So uh, like, I, like I said, though, I mean, if they're trying to get people really excited about Serie A team of the season, I would not imagine Dybala to be anything more than like four star, four star. But if they gave like a high medium work rate change for Dybala, or maybe if they gave him five star skills, you know, that would make this card really, really special. And a lot of people would want to go out and get that card. So that's one of the biggest surprises from the leaks that we have had so far. Here's another pretty big one, Chiro Immobile. I think this card's going to be dirt cheap. And I think this card's going to be very good. Um, you know, I, Chiro Immobile always feel like he's scoring goals every single year in the Serie A, smashing balls in the back of the net. Uh, I think he said, did he have a Tots card last year? No, he did not. But I think it was two years ago he had a Tots card uh, that was really, really good. Or maybe it was an SBC or something. I think this card's going to end up being pretty good in game. And hopefully they give him a boost uh, in some area to give him either a five skills or a five weak foot, which neither of his base card has. That would be a really cool Immobile card, but he's probably going to be dirt cheap. Some people have been asking me, Nate, do you think that uh, like a, a foot captain's Quagliarella would go up? If we're getting a Immobile card like this, and he's going to be like less than 100, 150K, I really don't think that a Quagliarella would really go up that much because you're going to have a replacement for that card with an Immobile like this one. So that's kind of my thoughts there. Now, the last couple ones that we have ATM, this is an SBC. Kessie, who of course is a Serie A goat in the midfield with the Milan links, he is getting an SBC card. Now, are these predicted stats? These are predicted stats. So these are not confirmed, but he's not in packs. He's going to be an SBC. Now, we will see what this looks like uh, when it comes out, of course. But this is a big card that a lot of people, if you're going to run any sort of Serie A hybrid, that's the one thing I want to keep in, in your guys' minds as we head into Serie A tots as well. It's going to be all about the strong links. Because a lot of these guys have different nationalities. They don't plug and play into a lot of people's teams right now with French, Brazilian links, or English links from any of the previously released team of the season squads. It's going to be about these AC Milan links. It's going to be about maybe some of the Italian links as well. You know, for a lot of these cards, you're going to have to get those strong links or use an icon or use maybe a, a hero or something like that to get those extra links to fit these guys in your team. This Kessie, though, would be so great. Again, like we just saw with some of the AC Milan players like Liao. You've got the Teo Hernandez, which is probably going to be very expensive. The Tonali, having those two guys in the midfield would be cracked. So that's going to be an exciting SBC. Hopefully the stats are a little better. Of course, everybody remembers this Tots card from last year with the 99 physical. Um, this card was one of the more expensive ones. He was like 800K first weekend and then dropped down into the, the five 600K range. Um, I would not imagine that this SBC would be like super crazy, like 300K max, unless they like give him 90 pace and 99 physical and the predicted stats here are way off. We'll have to see what they end up doing on that. But that's a hype SBC just because of the name of the player that's, that could be coming out. And this is the last card that we have leaked right now. And I mean, look at this card. This looks unbelievable. I mean, I'm getting Fofana vibes and then some for this Brozovic. 92 pace, 95 defense, 94 physical, 95 passing. Like, what is that boost? So, another insane midfielder for this team. It's like back-to-back -back weeks where we've had really, really insane midfielders. But again, if you take a look at this Brozovic, 
And then you take a look at the midfielders that are in League One tots right now. I mean, he's on par, maybe if not better than Chalmany is with more pace, you know, on a card like that. And Chalmany is 680,000 coins, but he's French, right? I honestly think that a card like this Brozovic would probably be like 400k. Uh, and if the Kessie SBC is insane, then he, maybe he drops off even a little bit more after that. I think the Serie A tots as a whole is going to be one of your cheaper leagues of team of the season. It might start off pretty expensive day one, and we're going to talk about that in the coming days as we see how EA might try to release these cards on Friday. But I think as a whole, with the cards that we have seen in these leagues and with all the cards that have been released recently, it's not going to be a super duper hype unless EA do something crazy. Like I mentioned with the skill moves or the weak foot, you know, for on, on these cards, I think a lot of these cards are going to be a bit cheaper. And that's usually how Serie A Tots is. Yes, you've got a couple expensive guys. There's no more Ronaldo in the league. You know, you had a Mertens last year that was 1.1 million coins. You know, Insigne last year was like 300K. Also, everything last year on the market was more expensive than it is this year. That's just a fact. But usually Serie A is one of your cheaper teams, right? And I think that's going to maintain true this year with these these cards and what we're seeing right now. But these cards do look good, man. And I think there's reason to get excited, especially if you're a Serie A fan. There's some nice cards in here that you will want to try to get into your team, want to try to get into your squad during this next week. So right now, those are all of the Serie A Tots card leaks that we do have um, on Twitter and, and been released. I think that's 12 players, as I mentioned. So three more have yet to be released. And I would imagine that we would get those pretty soon. Um, since we have 12 out of 15, they were, they're releasing 15 Tots cards every single league. So I think that's the sort of thing that's going to happen there. So those are all the leaks that we have right now for Serie A. Let's move on to today on Wednesday, the big SBC and keep it kosher with what's happening right now. Let's League One team of the season. Talk about the here and the now, kind of bring it back. League One Tots guaranteed is today. And as we've been talking about in this past couple of days, I think I might've even said it on like Monday or Tuesday. I was like, guys, this League One Tots guaranteed SBC is going to be the most expensive that, that EA will release during the promo. And I think I'm going to stay true to that. I think today for this SBC, they're going to make it 88 rated. Premier League was 86. Last week with La Liga was 87. I think they're going to up the ante one more time and make it an 88 rated squad just again because of the players that are in this team. I mean, there's a great opportunity here for EA Sports to drain some fodder because, again, you've got Ben Yedder, Mbappe, Neymar. And as I mentioned earlier this week as well, the total price of this team, um, if you would, were, to, were to buy all the players, is 18 million coins. That's more than every single other uh, team in the season squad that's been released so far. So with the high tier in this team being so great, I think they're going to make it an 88 rated squad, which isn't really going to make the SBC that stupid expensive if you think about it. An 88 squad right now is going to run you somewhere around like 150 to like 160,000 coins. Like that's all that it's going to cost you to do this SBC. It's not going to be that bad and everybody's going to be able to go out and do it because they've got tots cards they've been doing upgrade packs this week so yes ea can get away with that 88 rated squad today uh and i was looking up some of the other ones like last week with la liga you know it was an 87 squad and it cost you 123,000 coins right off the bat so what is this going to mean today of course everybody's going to go out and do the sbc because we all want a chance of packing Neymar, Mbappe, and Ben Yedder, and Paqueta, even though we're going to be seeing Saliba, Lafant, Klaus, Ganduzi, Terrier, Fofana, Nuno Menge, just like all the upgrade packs have been this week, and most people have been packing those cards, not many of the higher tier ones. So there's still going to be everybody going out and wanting to gamble in that pack today, and that's going to make fodder go up, right? We've been talking about it all week. I thought, I thought that today, especially the first hour or two, after this SBC drops is going to be one of the peak times for SBC fodder. So if you have fodder, I would say we are in the window now where it is not a bad time to sell, but specifically today after the content drop, when the SBC comes out, what you're probably going to see is like a spike right away. And it, what you can even look for tomorrow after it happens is you can take a look at some of these fodder cards Look at their prices on Footbin as people go out to do this SBC. How much is Lewandowski? He was like 40K last night. He's still around 40K. You're probably going to see a guy like this jump up. If it's an 88 rated squad today, he might jump up four to 5,000 coins for like an hour to two to three hours and then kind of trickle back down slowly because all of that demand happens in that first like hour to two hours, right? And that's where all the supply uh, or sorry, all the demand comes in. But then after that, 
everybody who's selling kind of starts to undercut each other. So what I would really do today is in that first second hour somewhere in there, put your fodder up for 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 bid for sale. If you're if you're going to cash out on the investment, like I'm probably going to do, you can still list it for lazy buyers though. Like you're going to have people that are going out and doing the SBC because they want to get it done. People know that the schedule is on Wednesdays. We get the guaranteed tots pack. So I would be today looking to sell your fodder in that first one to three hour time frame after the SBC is released. I think that's a really good time to do so. And uh, I think you'll probably get a couple extra thousand coins per card. And you know, you're still going to be in the money. It's not like these 88s that were down at like 13k are going to go all the way back down to 12k later tonight if you don't sell them right away. Like you're going to have time to get them out. You'll see a nice rise today. So that's what I would say. Like I'm going to be looking to sell all this stuff today on the game on Wednesday after that SBC comes out um, on the higher tier range for sure. Now, lower tier range for fodder. We still have another SBC that's coming back today that a lot of people are going to want to do, and that's the 75 plus times 10 upgrade. As you can see, 16 hours left before the refresh. That's going to be at 6 p.m. content time today on Wednesday when that will get re-upped, of course. So, you know, I would say that your 83s, your 84s is probably going to see a bit of a spike today as well. They went up a little yesterday with the Super League and the Belgian Pro League tots both happening. Uh, but I think this SBC uh, just has some weight to it. Uh, the... Trip 85 plus triple is not going to be able to be done again. So that's one that will probably be done again, as it says here on Thursday. So we've got the 75 times 10 again today. Then that'll be done again on Thursday or re-upped. Now, other pieces of content today on Wednesday. Usually we don't have like insane Wednesdays, uh, but there was actually a leak for a new SBC that it was in the menus. Like, you know how they have this tab right here, right? Where it shows Savernier. Earlier today, we were live on stream on the game, opening upgrade packs, and all of a sudden, a new card popped up. It wasn't in Concepts, it was on the Companion app, and it was on the menus here, and you can see it here in this tweet. I took a screenshot of it and posted it, because EA literally leaked their own SBC. Amine Guri, a 92 rated left mid, it's the U23 SBC. Uh, that's a solid looking card. He had the uh, Future Stars SBC, if you guys remember, or Objective, one of the two, uh, like an 88 rated striker card. It looks like he's getting a TOTS version as well with 95 pace, 93 shot, 90 passing, and 92 dribbling. So that is either going to come today or tomorrow. Now, since we had Savernier yesterday, I would imagine it's going to be tomorrow. But that was just really random to see this posted on the menus uh, of the game. It's like a really weird way for EA to leak what they're going to be dropping on the game. So that's just uh, some upcoming content, I guess, to be watching out for and to be ready for since EA leaked it themselves on their own game. Now let's talk market, right? Of course, we have the League One Tots guaranteed coming today. What's going to happen to some of these cards on the market? Because, you know, like even we saw yesterday on Tuesday, we had the uh, secondary League Tots SBCs released. Guys like Balotelli, Balotelli was like 340K in the morning yesterday. After the SBC, he spiked to 400,000 coins. I actually traded with a couple of uh, Vinokin cards who went from 120K all the way up to like 150. And then he's back down now in the 120. So you're going to see more fluctuations like that today on the game. But how is it going to affect the League One cards? Well, I think that if you're wanting to buy any of these cards for your team, I think you have to be looking today. I mean, if I'm taking a look at any cards today on the market, I'm watching a guy like a Marquinhos who's 740 right now. I'm going to be watching a guy like Chameni. Uh, a Paqueta. I know these cards are already up in value, but the best example to kind of describe what's going to happen with prices on the game today is if you take a look and remember what happened last week to Militao. I know a lot of you guys last week were like, oh my goodness, I want to buy Militao or a card like this. A lot of people wanted to buy, right? Well, Militao last week on uh, Wednesday was about 400,000 coins. The SBC for the guaranteed tots pack drops he, there was like that first 10 to 15 minutes of people going and doing the SBC, there was a little bit of panic. So Miller Child dropped from 400,000 coins down to like 389 to 390. And then after that, he just started going up because people did the guaranteed pack. They didn't pack who they wanted. So they went out and they bought the card. That's kind of the trend every single Wednesday. So for a lot of these cards, even like Paqueta, man, Paqueta is just so rare. I mean, this guy's 1.4 mil now. 1.4 mil flat for Paqueta. You know, if there's any panic selling today, I think it'd be a great opportunity to get involved before the SBC comes out or even if panic selling when the SBC drops, 
because I think for all of your higher tier cards, your cards that are over like th for three to 400,000 coins that are in this team, I think they might jump up in price a little bit later tonight. Now, is it gonna be crazy high? Probably not, right? It's gonna be a bit of a buyback and then they'll settle off a bit. But you know, a guy like Chalmany or, or a guy like Neymar or Mbappe is not going to get packed that much today. So that's where this kind of demand and that's why this movement sort of happens. So if you really want to buy a Marquinhos or a Chalmany, Paqueta, a Ben Yedder or a Messi for your team today, I would really closely watch them in that first hour or even this morning as weekend link rewards get paid out. Sometimes if you remember last week, there was a bit of panic selling on Pedri on this day. If there's any panic on these cards today, watch it because I think there'd be a great opportunity on the higher tier to buy in. Now on the lower tier, anything 100K or under, Nuno Menge would be one that you'd want to keep an eye on today because he's got a lot of hype. You know, if he does drop, I think this 100K here is an undercut. He's like 115,000 coins. He's got enough hype because he's like the only left back besides Emerson and the SBC and Emerson expires today on Wednesday. Uh, that's another big game that's happening today between Italy and Argentina. Uh, but this new Menge, if he drops down to like 100,000 coins today, I think this might be a card that would drop right away when the guarantee comes out and then would rise back up later on as people went out and bought their teams. But for the lower tier cards like Lafont, Klaus, Ganduzi, Terrier, a lot of those are probably gonna dip down a little bit more just because so many people are gonna be going out and they're gonna pack those today on the game. So also, I know some of you guys might have some uh, League One out of pack special cards that you're still watching. You know, like a Gelson Martins. Some of you guys have been mentioning, like Nate, this Gelson Martins is finally rising. Like, look at he's almost 500,000 coins. GG's, right? I think today you could see a few of these just edge and inch up a little bit more in price as people go and do the guaranteed pack and they maybe finalize some of the League One Tots cards that they've been wanting to play with all week. They get a pack or they kind of settle their team for the weekend league. Um, and then you'll see a few of those maybe go up a little bit today on this game. I also think today on Wednesday, you're going to see lightning rounds because that's something that we've seen just about every single week on, on Wednesdays as well. So there will be a little bit of supply coming in on these cards. But it, Wednesday and Thursday lightning rounds usually don't impact prices of the impacts Tots cards that much. Uh, if, if any. So we'll see those today on the game. Uh, also, interesting note, today's a Wednesday, right? Usually, usually that means a new team of the week. Uh, team of the week after today is over. Yes, it's done. There are no more team of the weeks that are being released after today. So the team of the week cards that we have right now, um, which is not letting me see these at the moment, but that certain team, of the week, I think it's team of the week 36 that we have at the moment. These are our last team of the week cards and EA has added a team of the week upgrade SBC in the code. So there's an 81 plus team of the week SBC. It might come today and it'd be out for like a long time. It also might not drop yet, but if you have team of the week cards, this is where the, you know, the prices would theoretically start to, to slowly rise as we see those cards going out of packs. I still think there's opportunity to get some of those in forms that are out right now or from, you know, older out of packs team of the week, stock a couple in the club because they will go up over the summer months. So that's something you can guys do uh, if you want to and invest a little bit there. But that's part of your Wednesday today. And it's going to be a big Wednesday, right? Serie A leaks, we talked about those. League One tots guaranteed and more upgrade packs because we packed 85 blues. Um, the number's up to 85 now. No other big ones. I did finish the Coutier Barrel, and this is the team that we just finished. It went 5-0 and to get 11 wins. It was it was a terrible weekend, but we got 11. We're going to open our Reds today on stream, and uh, should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get a big boy into the club. And if not, we'll have fun opening Reds anyway. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.